Evening, I'm Diane Lee here with Ben Hoover. Thanks for joining us. First at five, new details in one of the upstate's most shocking cases in recent memory. That's right. Today it involves a Greenville man who had his penis severed by a woman he is believed to have sexually assaulted. Tonight we have the recordings of 911 calls made by the people who tried to help that woman. Greenville County 911, what's the location of your emergency? The call to 911 was made from this Waffle House on Melvin Drive, just off Pleasantburg in Greenville. An employee there calls when a woman shows up at the door in a state of panic. There's a woman, she's naked, she says someone tried to rape her. The caller then instructs his co-workers to help her. They just put a green t-shirt on her. They're women, so I'm letting them deal with her. Oh. Investigators say this man, Dennis Slayton, a registered sex offender with convictions of sodomy, attempted rape, and voyeurism, was arrested and charged with sexual assault and kidnapping. On the call, when the operator asks if the woman needs EMS, authorities first learned the woman's alleged attacker would need medical assistance as well. Do you need EMS? She's saying that there's somebody right across the street. Uh -huh. She says she hurt the man. He tried to rape her. She hurt him. Okay. Did she say anything about EMS? Do you need to see the paramedics? She needs to see the police. She just needs to see the police? She don't need EMS? And he's going to need EMS. This incident report reveals why Slayton would need EMS. He told 7 News last year the woman making the accusations bit off his penis. According to this police report, the alleged victim said she was meeting someone she had met online and got into Slayton's truck at this Sphinx along South Pleasantburg. Then she said he put a knife to her throat, shouting that she owed him $300. He drove her to his house, where she said he sexually assaulted her and threatened to kill her. She got away and made her way to the Waffle House, where she found help. The police are pulling in now. Uh, okay. A, a lot of them, too. Slayton was arrested. He later bonded out of jail. We checked with the solicitor's office today. They said that they are still interviewing witnesses and building their case.